Welcome back to another Sidemen Grand Prix. This time, we're in Monaco. But last time out, if you did not see that Grand Prix in Silverstone, make sure you go check it out. It was one of the best F1 races of all time. Bazinga makes that move on Tobe Jizzle and is up in a P2 and then gets very desperate as he goes for a late dive bomb on road to shore, forcing him off the track and allows Tobe Jizzle to sweep on through to win his first ever Formula 1 Grand Prix. Road to shore was frustrated, so was Bazinga and Bazinga ends up spinning out allowing KSI to get his first ever podium in Formula 1. It was a very bad day at the office for this man, Joshua Zerka as he allowed KSI to get his first ever overtake on him and uh, yeah, it was quite embarrassing for Zerka and McLaren had to come out with a statement on their Instagram explaining why Josh was overtaken by KSI and uh, they stated that his head was just too big for the car. Anyway, it is a debut for I Show Speed. He will be racing with the sidemen today and when we told Harry that Speed was going to be in Monaco, he got very, very excited. The fans are getting hyped up with this tune from KSI as we get ready for the end of qualifying. You can see Vic is currently on provisional pole, Bazinga second, Toby third, and Zerka in P4. We're actually riding on board with Joshua Zerka. And it's this new helmet cam that we've got into Formula One. So we can see how he's actually driving through Monaco. And that looked pretty tidy through there. Can Joshua Zerka put a purple sector to it? Yes, he can. Joshua Zerka, he's on course to potentially take that. That provisional pole away from Vicstar123, who's had a bit of a stinker in that first sector. Mini Minter goes through the second sector well as well. And I show speed is doing okay. He's doing better than he did in his first lap. But Zerka up to the line. It's provisional pole for the McLaren. Joshua Zerka as Mini Minter rounds the final corner. Can he take it away from Josh? No, he can't, but he goes up to P3. Vic's having a stinker. He's had a yellow first sector. He's had a yellow middle sector. But road to short has gone purple in the first two sectors, but it's a red flag. It's a red flag. Big Star is in the wall and there's going to be some conspiracy theories about this one. What has he done? He's having a stinker of a lap. He's about two seconds down and he finds himself in the wall. All oh, locks up, goes into the wall. People are going to be asking questions whether he did that on purpose to preserve his P2 because he was having an awful lap. Road to shore had a double purple. <laughs> So, Vic, what is your thought on people accusing you of crashing on purpose to hold on to that P2 for Monaco tomorrow? To be fair, though. That is all we could get from Vic's interview, but let's see how Harry is coping after finishing last in Monaco as he meets with his fans. You boys have no life! You don't do anything! You sit in your bedrooms all day, getting old! Your life's withering away! <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Go do something! <laughs> Why? Why? No, you can't just stare at a screen till you're 60! We are here on race day, ready for another Sidemen Grand Prix. Qualifying was a spicy one yesterday, and I'm sure we'll have a great race on our hands today. Vicstar told Harry to grow up after constantly complaining to the FIA, and we cannot repeat what Harry said back to Vic. Be sure to keep an eye on them if they meet each other on the track. Anyway, here is our starting grid for today's Grand Prix. Joshua Zerka on pole position with Vicstar123 lining up alongside him. Mini Minter in P3 and Bazinga. Zinger in P4 looking like someone stole the last burger at the barbecue and by the looks of it it might have been KSI as he lines up on row three with Tobe Jizzle. I show speed and row to shore fill out the back of the grid and I show speed said that KSI will not see the end of this Grand Prix. A big change to the Silverstone Grand Prix is that there will be no required pit stop for today's race. And you can see Bazinga and Harry having some words over the radio with each other before the race begins. Vicstar123 has remained focused, ignoring all of the critics, while Road Ashore seeks revenge as he looks to weave his way through the field. But it is Joshua Zerka on pole position here in Monaco as they line up onto the grid and the red lights are going. It is four, five red lights in Monaco 
And away we go after a long pause. It's Zerka that leads us away. He holds on to that P1, but Big Star is looking for a move around the outside. He can't get it done. Mini Minter looks for a move down the inside of Big Star, but can't get it done. But Speed has got past KSI, and KSI has already dropped to the back of the grid. Rodashaw capitalizing as well. I don't know what's happened there, but Speed up in the P6. That is just the start that he would want in Monaco. The rest of the order remains the same, other than Rodashaw getting through on KSI. So KSI back at the back of the grid where he belongs let's see this start from i show speed he gets away well but in the second phase he slows down he's actually behind road ashore how does he make that move he makes a massive time bomb on ksi almost putting him in the wall and i'll tell you what as i was saying i'll tell you what that was a feisty move from speed and i don't know what drugs he is on but he was loving it Big Star is putting the pressure on Joshua Zerka as we are on lap number four. Bazinga has got ahead of Mini Minta and Rota Shaw is up into P6 ahead of I Show Speed. So moves are being made here in Monaco and Big Star wants to be the next person to gain a position as he is fighting for the race lead. He's on the rear wing of Joshua Zerka. Is he going to go for a move in the chicane? He goes down the inside. Big Star, one, two, three. Oh, he has to cut the corner. He's not going to be allowed to keep that position. Surely he has has to give that back to Zerka, otherwise the FIA are going to get involved and give him a penalty. What is he going to do? As he rounds, goes to the swimming pool section, the race director has got involved and he's saying, Vic Star, you have to give the place back to Zerka. So is he going to do it down this next straight? What is he going to do? Vic Star down the straight, is he going to do what he wants or is he going to give the place back? It looks as though he is slowing up. So Zerka around the outside as Vic Star, oh, Vic Star sticks it on through. He doesn't care. Yeah, he said he's giving the place back as we go up for Rivage. Big Star 1, 2, 3 around the outside. Surely not. They're going side by side into the casino section. Big Star 1, 2, 3 holds it on through. I can't believe it. Zerka will not be happy with that. Is it in no, I don't understand, bro. I don't understand. I don't understand what has happened. Zerka clearly frustrated with Vic, and I wonder if the FIA will be getting involved. On to lap seven now, and you see Bazinga all over the back of Joshua Zerka. No word from the race director as of yet whether Vicstar has to give that place back to Zerka. But I'll tell you what, Bazinga does not care. Is he looking at Joshua Zerka? He's going to look for a move down the inside in Monaco. What a move that is from Ethan Bazinga. He's up into P2, and now the race director comes on the radio to tell Vicstar to give that place back to Joshua Zerka. It gets a little more complicated now because the McLaren is in P3 behind Bazinga. If Vicstar wants to give that place back, he'll have to let the Ferrari of Bazinga pass and Joshua Zerka. What is going to happen here? Is he just going to keep driving and take whatever penalty the FAA gives him? Or is he going to give the place back? It does look like Vicstar's slowing up. But I'll tell you what, he's not letting Bazinga pass. He's slowing up. He's hoping that Zerka can pass Bazinga. And then he'll let Zerka pass to hold on to that P2. Bazinga goes and cuts the corner. Oh my goodness me. He's had a collision with Vicstar. One, two, three. The other cars go by. Rhoda Shaw's caught up into it. And it's a safety car car here in Monaco. Absolute carnage. That is how you finish a man off. Interesting words from Joshua Zerka, but let's have a look at the replay here. Big Star 1, 2, 3. He is slowing up even Bazinga in hope that Zerka can make a move. And what has Bazinga done here? He goes... He goes for the move and he cuts the corner, clips Vic Star's back wheel, just spins him around. Everybody else says thank you very much. They go on through and then the safety car comes out and uh, I'll tell you what, you expect to crash in Monaco, but that was a pretty dumb move from Bazinga as he comes on the team radio <laughs> and I'd rather not read out that radio message. We are on lap 10 of this Grand Prix. The safety car is coming in at the end of the lap. You have Zerka still in P1 after all he's gone through this Grand Prix. And Mini Minta in P2, someone we haven't spoke about much. He's gone under the radar. Could he be the one to take victory here in Monaco? P3, you got Toe Dizzle, who was last time's race winner in Silverstone, looking to make it a double here in Monaco. Speed and KSI find themselves P4 and P5. Rodashaw in P6, who's been very, very frustrated this Grand Prix. And then you 
got Big Star in seventh with Bazinga at the back after that incident. And away we go after the safety car. Zerka has led us away with Mini Minter P2 and Toe Drizzle P3. No one can get the jump on the car in front. So we've got Mini Minter P2 chasing down Joshua Zerka, who's in P1. Lap 12, you've got Mini Minter all over the back of Joshua Zerka. Can he find the move here in the streets of Monte Carlo? It's going to be a difficult one, especially with the pace that Zerka's got. But down the inside of Raskas, Mini Minter's through on Joshua Zerka. Tiamat Marduk would be proud. What a move that is in Monaco from the Red Bull of Mini Minter. But Zerka's not done yet. He's going to go around the outside. We're going side by side into turn one at Monaco. Zerka around the outside. He's holding it on through. Can Mini Minter take it around the outside and hold on as we go into the casino section a bit of wheel banging they're getting feisty here in monaco mini minter has to let zerka go zerka back in the p1 and tone jizzle is waiting to pounce in p3 is he gonna find a way through or is zerka gonna hold on to that p1 but mini minter down the inside of the hairpin that is unbelievable stuff mini minter takes the race lead and that is an incredible bit of racing here in monaco and i'm surprised that both cars have came out in one one piece. Let's have a look at that first move from Mini Minter into Raskas. He got that move done on Zerka. He's not that close to his gearbox, but he goes for that dive bomb anyway. Zerka gives him the room, and that is an incredible move here in Monaco. A place where you don't expect to see many overtakes. We've seen plenty today. Zerka gets back through on that straight, and Mini Minter goes for another dive bomb. This time into the hairpin. Takes the race lead. You've got to be aggressive if you want to, want to win in Monaco. Monaco, and Mini Minter is certainly doing that. KSI is pushing the pace here in the midfield. You've got Rodashaw, Vic, and Bazinga struggling to find a way through. And the front three just running away with it here in Monaco. But KSI is all over the back of Aisho Speed. He's gone for a move. KSI down the inside of Aisho Speed. I don't believe it. What a move from KSI. <laughs> Less than three laps to go, and Tobe Drizzle is trying to find a way past Zerka and Mini Minter. It's looking less and less likely as the laps go on, but the odds are against him in Silverstone, and they are again in Monaco. If results stay the same way, Tobe Drizzle will be the only sideman to get onto the podium in both races, but it's a red flag! It's a red flag! It's I show speed in KSI! It was inevitable! As soon as I show speed was announced, you knew they were gonna crash. What has happened here in Monaco? I show speed gets a very good exit. Is it gonna look at move on KSI he just puts him in the wall he says see you later KSI what's good We have a two-lap sprint to decide the winner here in Monaco. It is five red lights, and away we go. Zerka gets away well. Mini Minter has a very poor start. And the McLaren and Joshua Zerka. Is he going to lead coming out of turn one? Yes, he is. Road a short fight with Tom Jizzle and Bazinga is past Big Star. One, two, three. You can see the Alpine and the Mercedes tangling a little bit as they bag wheels. But Road to Shore is through. And follow through goes Bazinga. Tom Jizzle's at a stinker. He's down to p5 big star at the back in p6 but road to shore he's in for the race win he's up at a p3 he dives down the inside of mini minter up into p2 goes road ashore he's here to fight for the win but it's joshua zerka leading him away one and a half laps to go what is gonna happen here in monaco mini minter poor restart and it's cost him the final lap of the Grand Prix. And you can see Rhoda Shaw almost pushing Zerka around the track. He's showing the pace that he showed in qualified. Is this going to be one of the greatest comebacks we see in Monaco? As Rhoda Shaw thinks about a move. But he waits. He can't wait much longer. There's not many overtaking opportunities here in Monaco. He's got less than half a lap to find a way past the McLaren of Zerka. Is Zerka going to get a victory after last time out being overtaken by KSI? The embarrassment of... 
of that. But Road to Shaw down the inside on Zerka. He's done it with two corners to go. Road to Shaw is going to go from P8 to P1 in Monaco. What a victory. But Zerka gets a good X out of the last corner. Up to the line. Who won? He says Road to Shaw is one of the timing screens. But that must have been very, very close. Road to Shaw takes its first ever sideman victory. And look how close it was. A front wing separates the top two drivers. What an incredible race here in Monaco. Let's see that race winning move from road to shore into Raskas. What a move that is. Zerker is going to be kicking himself after that one. He didn't defend very well. He's been caught out there twice this Grand Prix. And road to shore says thank you very much. Make sure you go ahead and vote for your driver of the day in the description. But here's the race results. Road to Shaw takes his first ever victory in the Sidemen Grand Prix with Zerka in a close second. And Miniman to get in P3 after looking very, very strong. You can see Speed and KSI unable to finish the race. Ethan Bazinga in P4, Toby fifth, and Vicstar in sixth. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for the next Sidemen Grand Prix, wherever that may be.